uh, supervisor for San Mateo County and the immediate past president for APAC. Okay. Um, describe to me the importance of regionalism in the Bay Area. It is absolutely essential to our success in uh, really uh, uh, providing the type of growth and, uh, and, uh, and, actual, and actually implementing the type of econ economy and creating the type of economy that we really need for the Bay Area. And I, one of the reasons why I have such an affinity for ABAG is because of the fact that it represents regionalism. Uh, I think it's fantastic that uh, 50 years ago that we had elected officials who had the foresight to recognize that they were better off working together than working independently. And as a result of that, here we are uh, 50 years later, uh, having provided, done a lot of great services. I think th the relationship uh, between ABAG and MTC is a, a true partnership, and I think it's one of the ones, one of the reasons why we will continue to be one of the leaders in our country because of the fact that um, we see the benefits of partnering and working together around land use and transportation issues. Um, I think it was a great marriage, um, and I think this, that as a result of that uh, partnership and recognizing the benefits to the entire Bay Area, we will be able to make a tremendous difference. It's going to take even more time, uh, and I think, it, I think the Joint Policy Committee uh, really is good representation because it provides a table by which all of us can sit across from each other and talk about the various policies uh, that we actually have to um, address the issues that we all face with. Um, the reason why it's so great is because, um, you know, we are, all of us, all of the residents are traveling across uh, by, by rail or through, uh, by, by, uh, by bicycles or by their, through their cars, through each other's cities and, and counties. And so the air doesn't know the difference, and so we don't have, there's no boundaries there. It is up to us to be able to provide the type of services and the policies that create the type of environment that makes it wonderful for everyone. I think it, it, what I find interesting is the fact that regionalism has existed for so long, and yet th there are so many people who talk, talk about it as if it's brand new. Um, which is the reason I think it's such a compliment that here we are celebrating 50 years and 40 years of existence, and yet the term is as if it's brand new. Um, I find that fascinating, but I also find uh, the reason for us to truly celebrate the fact that we are addressing the tremendous policy needs as well as um, the economy needs and all of the land use and transportation um, looking at uh, reducing the greenhouse gas emissions, all of those issues are extremely important. And in order for us to truly be effective in implementing the, uh, the policies that have been established and our, and our state laws that's been established, we do have to come together to make it into, or in order to be able to talk it through, work it through, and actually implement uh, the types of policies and laws that everyone can adhere to in order that we can have the viable community and the region that we actually deserve to have now and for the future. So, that, so again, it's why uh, the Joint Policy Committee is so important, where you have uh, ABAC, MTC, um, and later uh, are formulating uh, the, um, by statute, the uh, two additional agencies, and that's the Air District and BCDC. Everyone sitting together to talk about their particular responsibilities as w and, 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 and yet being able to merge it in such a way that it benefits the community as well as uh, satisfying SB 375 and AB 32. Great. Now, I know that your time with um, ABAG has been somewhat recent given the 50 year history, but in your mind, are there some accomplishments in ABAG's 50 year history that really stand out for you? There are a number of them. The one that I talk a lot about uh, that uh, I don't think enough people talk about is the Bay Trail. Uh, we have actually accomplished 300 miles of the 500 miles that was originally planned. I think it's celebrating 25, it's celebrating 25 years. Um, if it wasn't this year, it was last year. So that is quite an accomplishment, and it's something that I don't think the uh, uh, the broader community is aware of. And when I envision 
the completion of 500 miles of bay trails in our nine counties and our 101 cities, that to me is something truly magnificent that I think we all have reasons to be proud of. And why? Because we like the Bay Area. So to have those trails available for everyone to be able to, in, to explore, to experience, I think is quite significant. Um, and we've, we initiated uh, the FOCUS program, which was um, a way in which we could actually implement the smart growth strategies that were developed. Again, we have a chance there to provide incentives to encourage all of our cities to be able to, uh, uh, um, to meet those criteria. And, and, and with everyone meeting the same criteria, guess what? That means that we're all going to have the, the benefits of those policies con being consistent throughout the Bay Area. So I, th that is one of the ones I think is quite significant as well. The other benefit of having Create to Focus was that it was, had already laid the foundation for SB 375. So uh, we were already on our way uh, before it was even implemented. So I think that's, again, is something for us to be proud of. Um, so the, the ability to actually have the four agencies working together, I think, is something to be proud of. And that was an accomplishment that came, uh, the, formal, the formalization of the, the other two agencies came about, you know, during my uh, tenure. And, um, and the focus initiative, I think, was an, another one for us to really, really be extremely excited about and proud of. Um, and I think that the other th part, of, I think, so I think those are the two main ones that are really exciting. We have the, uh, our uh, Grow and Smarter Together Awards uh, that was initiated several years ago by myself and uh, another, a former uh, city council member that actually, again, highlights the, uh, the, the, uh, the buildings, the projects that are being implemented through our focus program um, throughout the Bay Area. Again, it's something to be, that we can actually celebrate and be really excited about. But I think most of all, uh, the, the just having greater knowledge about the programs and services that have been available through ABAC to its member cities, I think is quite significant. Uh, as an example, we have ABAC plan, ABAC power, financial services, um, uh, a green business of, uh, program that's available for all of this, the cities and the counties with their, throughout this nine counties and the 101 cities. All of that is, I think, is quite significant. Uh, and there are services that are available to, uh, all, to everyone. And I mention those because we, we get known primarily about for, for, the, for the, um, uh, the housing, the arena process, but there's so much more that we actually do and provide uh, services that are provided to our member cities and counties. One area that I had hoped to be a total success was not, uh, did not uh, achieve the success that I intended, but I still am proud of, what, of, the, of the effort. And that is that once we had, once 370, SB 375 had passed, and, we, and it was acknowledged that uh, ABAC and MTC had been mandated to implement it, um, I felt it was extremely important that uh, since the legislators had given us this mandate that they also uh, assist us in generating the revenue that we needed to implement it. So I can say that I was really one who really initiated the effort to uh, seek legislation to um, have the SB 375 funded through legislation. Now it got all the way to the governor's desk and it didn't get signed. But it still, I felt it was a, it was a tremendous effort and reasons because we had to get a lot of support for it, through our, not only through the legislators, but also through, from our local cities and counties. So I feel good about that, and that happened during my presidency. Um, another uh, thing I think we had also expanded the collaborative approach uh, with, the, with the focus initiative and, um, and our priority development um, areas. And we were able to get, uh, we received 227 uh, priority development areas out of, uh, and about over, within about 60 uh, cities and counties. So again, that was something I felt really good about as well. We also had, uh, began an energy watch uh, program. So those are some of the, the main ones I think that I felt really, really good about. Uh, and one of the, th one of the, um, uh, one area that was 
not always uh, as, as, as well received, but it's also very important that I actually asked the board to um, support, had to do with the Youth Gun Violence Initiative. And so I asked for support from the board to, uh, to, have to initiate a task force to look at the Youth Gun Violence and um, and they were they were they supported it. The reason I felt was important is because if we really are serious about having the entire Bay Area have this equal quality of life, that means that every city and county has to feel safe and and and, and have and not have to be um, have to experience uh, youth uh, being harmed as well as dying and by the, at the hands of guns. So that's why I felt that was something that we could embrace as well because we have member cities that do have that, have that as a challenge that they have to deal with on a daily basis. Anything come to mind in terms of accomplishments um, for MTC's 40th anniversary on the MTC side? More money. <laughs> And more collaboration. Just continue the continuing the the uh, our, the the relationships that we have, um, and, and why I say money because you know what that's that's an incentive that actually works best for our member cities, and the reason is because they have the they have our elected officials have the heart and desire to gr do great things, but are strapped as a result of the financial situation. So, and 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 it has the ability sometimes to. To get to gain gain those additional resources, so that's why I said it that way. It sounded rather blunt, but I meant it well.